Welcome to DCB's Raid Healing Guide. In this video I will be covering everything you need to know about Raid Healing, from the basics to the more advanced. The add-ons in this video guide can turn a scrub healer into a pro and a pro healer even better. To start off, download the following add-ons. Grid, Click, Big Wigs or DBM, Grid Status Raid Debuff and Grid Status Hots. All of these can be found at Curse Gaming except Grid Status Hots which should be downloaded from WowAce as it is out of date on Curse. For excellent guides visit www.tankspot.com It has in-depth raid guides with all possibilities you should watch out for, it's not just for tanks. For any gearing, gemming or enchanting needs, elitistjerks.com is the place to go. I'll explain the add-ons as we go along, followed by the setup guide. As you can see in this video, the bars in the top middle of the screen are Big Wig's Raid Warning Bars. These allow you to know when there will be incoming abilities you should watch out for, so you can pre-hot slash shield when required, and be ready to move out of bad stuff. Grid itself is the little boxes in the left of the mid-screen. It can be highly customized to look however you want, but for this guide I'm keeping it basic. Each box is a player's health bar, as the box fills a player's health is going down. Players are color coded by class. The small blue dot in the bo bottom corner of a player's box tells me there's a rejuvenation on that player. In the green text is the estimated incoming heals to that player. The light blue dot in the top left corner is wild growth. And the color will change yellow, then red as it is about to expire. The green dot in the top right corner is life blue, and again it will turn yellow and red as it's about to expire. The orange dot in the bottom left corner is regrowth, and it will also turn yellow and red. This is all done with the help of grid status hots. When a player has aggro on a mob slash boss, their box will have a red border. This allows you to know when a player has pulled aggro on a mob and require large heals very soon. When there's a light blue border on a player, their mana is running low. Icons in the center of a player's box means they have a debuff. Grid will always show the debuffs you can cleanse, dispel, or decrease on top of any others if it is set up correctly. As you can see, I do not need to target anything, or I can target a boss or add to allow for interrupts or cyclones on mind controls. All of the healing is done with mouse clicks that allows you to have your bars free for other abilities. This is all done with a click, which I'll explain how to set up later in the video. Once you've got it all set up and are ready to go, you might want to get some practice in AV or Wintergrass was a good place to learn your puns, as players dying are not important or not so important in AV. Followed by a heroic or two, just to make sure you can do it properly. You can move grid any time by clicking and dragging the little tab on the top. Grid is not just for uh, healing, it can also be used for mages for decursing and warriors and other tanks for finding out who's got aggro quickly and using your abilities to save them. As you can see I can drag around grid quite freely by dragging the tab. Open grid on your minimap and expand the frame section of grid and then click advanced. Find spacing and set it to zero as Less space means less movement. Set the icon size to 10 or 11. Set the frame height to 34 and the frame width to 38. You can make it bigger and change the shape of it. You can also add mana bars by downloading grid status mana bars. Then click the center icon and make sure the debuffs you can remove are ticked, or only the debuffs you can remove are ticked, such as poisons, diseases, curses or magic. If you're a druid, paladin, shaman, it will be different. If you're a druid or any other class with hots or abilities you want to set for the corner dots, click each corner and make sure the ability you want to show up is ticked. I have wild growth set to the top left, regrowth bottom left, rejuve bottom right, life balloon top right. Click the layout and then click advanced and make sure your group by section is set correctly for battlegrounds and raids. This can be changed at any time so you don't waste screen space. 
next click status and click each of the hots that you have this will allow you to set up colors for them color one is the first color when you originally apply the dot color two and three should be set differently as color two is almost run out and color three is is really close to expiring set the threshold for each uh, for each for your preference I've got mine set to 3 to 4 seconds for color 2 and 1 to 2 seconds for color 3 next up is bigwigs bigwigs right click it and right click configure drag the bars around to where you want them and hit test a few times you can also change the warning sounds of bigwig play around with the little one find ones you like Next up is click. Open your spellbook and select your resto tab. Then open your click tab, the little bunny, with your mouse. Click the spells in the healing tab and they will show up as the button you clicked. You can also hold control and click and shift and click. This will stop you from being able to right click on people to inspect or trade with them as it will try to heal them. To solve this, at any time you need to inspect or invite someone, hold ALT and right click them as you normally would. Holding ALT will set your mouse back to normal unless you have used it for a heal. This is why I recommend you do not use ALT as a modifier for your heals. Z is an acceptable usage. That's it for this healing guide. This will stop you from spam healing yourself accidentally and make sure you heal everyone when they should be. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed topping the healing charts while still having a full mana bar.